Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CVSI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past couple of days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then in this situation makes mapping out a, a very valid question, uh, quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that the price has made a very nice bounce. I mean, when you stop and think about it, that not that long ago, the price was down there. And now all of a sudden the price is closed up here. Any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the, the price has definitely made a very nice move. But that does lead to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. That area is at $4.20. Why is 4.20 important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 420. Any sort of breaks below there or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range of the chart that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, behaves in this manner, and then start to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows here, You'd have these lows down there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying that progress point as again, $4.20. What about areas of resistance? As far as where the sellers are hanging out at, pretty straightforward right now, that's gonna be right up around $4.65. Several times today, that price got up right around that area on the chart and just couldn't quite push through it. So that'll be the, the, the main level to watch going forward. All in all though, anyway, you slice it, very nice bounce the past couple of days. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.